welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to start a color along out of this book here by Rita Berman. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but I believe it translates to um, my winter walk or something along those lines. Um, but today we are going to start on this. One of the, the page we're going to do is this double page spread here. Um, one of the recent requests I have had from one of my lovely subscribers, sorry, I just knocked the camera, um, is to show how I color things like snow and ice and stuff like that. So, um, I figured this would be a good page to, to have for both to show how I do snow and ice and as well as, um, to use for a color along. So that's what what I have planned for us for today. So let me get everything situated and zoomed in and we will get started on this. Okay. So, um, there are, just like with a lot of other things, there are many, many ways that you can do snow or ice. Um, me personally, I like to use either a pastel blue or a pastel gray shade. Well, pastel, a light gray shade or a pastel blue shade. So I have my Brute Funer Macaron colored pencils here and I've picked out um, Horizon Blue as well as um, Cool Gray number two. You could use either one of these. Um, today, I'm going to use the Horizon Blue. Um, <clears throat> there is kind of a reason for that, and you'll see that uh, a little bit later. But, um, yeah, we'll get started. So, pretty much the majority of this page is actually snow. So, I'm going to pick a spot and just start and kind of explain what I normally do and show you and I'll just do some of it on camera and then um, I will do the rest off off camera so that when we come back we don't have a whole lot of that to finish and you're not sitting here watching me do the same thing over and over again for an hour or two um, so let's get let's get started I think we'll start on one of, let me adjust my book a little here, one of these little trees down here, because this one, it has a little bit of snow here, as well as here, and the rest is the tree poking through, and the same with this one. So, we'll just kind of do this. Now, normally, <clears throat> what I do is I'll take my pastel blue, and I just kind of go along the edge here. And put a little bit of this color down. And then just give it like a little feathered edge. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Other than the embellishing that I do to it. So we'll do this little section here too, and then I'll show you the different things that I like to use <clears throat> to go over top of the snow with. Once I've put the colored pencil on there. that little bit okay so um that's sorry just want to fix that a little make that a little softer edge not so harsh there we go <clears throat> so after I've put the colored pencil down I've used several different things at different times depending on the image and kind of what I was feeling at the time um, to go over the snow with. Now, 
I've used things such as, just one second, I want you to be able to see what this looks like. So, <clears throat> I've used things such as the Stickles uh, Glitter Gel that comes in a little pot. Um, and this is the Moon Dust, and that's what that kind of looks like. So, you can go over top with something like that. Or you can choose any number of the like clear stickles that have the glitter in them. Um, I have quite a few different examples here and it depends on, I mean they're clear so it's just depending on what you want it to look like as far as the colors of the glitter inside. Like this one has more pink and yellow and this one here has more, it's like blue and pink. I'm not sure how well that picks up, but yeah. And then I have a stickles here that has um, chunkier glitter inside of it. It's more gold. So you can use any of those. Any of those would work great. Um, you could also use something like the Jelly Roll Stardust, the clear one, um, you could use that. That would work great as well. I've used the Dragonfly Glaze in the full spectrum. I've used the Folk Art, um, folk art Holographic Paint. Um, but today what we're gonna use is gonna be from my Giorgione Meta um, Metallic Pearlescent Watercolor um 100 count set of paint it i got this off a of gra grabby gravy i'm not sure how that's pronounced but anyway it's this set here and the color that i'm going to go over mine with is this one here um it looks white straight on but then in the light you get blue glitter that shows so, which is why I chose to do the blue. So we have the blue glitter on top of the blue colored pencil. I think that will look really nice. And that is this one right here. I don't know if you can see that shift to that blue. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> I'm gonna get me one of my water brushes here. I got some paper towel and I'm going to put a little water on the paint and get that activated. Which I probably should have done that a few minutes ago, but that's okay. Um, it usually doesn't take long for it to activate. I just I like to use a lot of media, different mediums that are glittery or sparkly, and especially if I'm doing snow, because snow, when you walk outside, especially on a sunny day, that snow just, it sparkly, shiny. Okay, so I've got a little bit of the paint on my brush, and I'm just going to paint this right on top. And you'll be able, because this dries more like clear, um, you will be able to see the blue colored pencil underneath. So that's usually what I look for. Something that um, will give it that sparkle and shine that I'm looking for, but that will also let the colored pencil show through. So I'll just go over that. <laughs> Give me one second, and I'll try to tilt that so that you can kind of see, hopefully, what that looks like in the light. And it, it'll be easier to be able to tell what that's going to look like once it's dried. Right now, it's still really wet, so. But that is how I'm going to do pretty much all the snow on this page. Um, so we did that little bit of the tree and I don't want to smear it. So we'll come down here. We'll do a little bit more work down here for this video. And then I'll probably do the rest off 
off camera. And then, but before we leave today, I will do these icicles. Those I'm probably just going to paint with the metallic watercolor paint. And again, I just go along the edges and then fade it out to where it fades into nothing, fades it off into the plain paper. Um, And then for like these snowflakes that are all over the play all over the page i will probably use probably use some of the um stickles and to fill those in to give it a little something extra and make it stand out a little from the rest of what i'm doing I actually really enjoy doing s snow on pictures because it's something that I can get done quick and easy and I also feel like it comes out very 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 pretty so with the sparkle and the shine I really love glitter and sparkle and shine <laughs> so. And you put a little along the bottom, just a tiny bit, bar barely, barely touching the paper. Okay, just like that. And then we'll take our paint. It's still, still a little wet there, and we will go over this with our metallic paint. And I'm gonna go right over top of these um, little snowflakes that are drawn in because, like I say, I, I think I'm gonna go in and add stickles to those spots just so that they are a little different, stand out a little. From everything else so I'm not worried about going around them this one here and if you choose to use the watercolor paint you will have some warping of the page but that'll be I'm not concerned about it it will flatten out um, over time <clears throat> especially if I when I'm finished if I put something heavy on top it will flatten out but um so there is our snow on our tree and our snow drifts at the bottom. Alright, so now for these icicles, let's see. I'm not sure if I want to use the same paint as I'm using for the snow. I have quite a few in this set that are clear, but just leave behind a little glitter. So, I'm thinking for the icicles to make them stand out and look a little different I may use this one here it's got some gold glitter in there um, so I think we'll try that with at least one of those which that is this one here the one right above the one we were just using that I just got all over my finger it's okay Drop a little water in there. 
Oh, actually, no. Well, I might do some. I think I will do some with that one. But I also have this one here that's clear but leaves like a pink. I don't know if you can see that. The pink glitter. So I think I'll do some with that as well. We're going to have all different kinds of glitter and everything. So for the icicles, we're going to make them just a little different. So get this one working. So we'll come up here and just go over a couple of these. And with these, I'm probably just going to paint them and not add any kind of pencil to them. Make sure you can see this. I mean, you could, of course, you could add some of the blue or the gray pencil to that if you wanted to. But I don't think I'm going to. And later, I will probably... Um, Go over these black lines with a white gel pen or a white Posca pen so that um, <clears throat> they kind of fade away. So I think I'll be doing that as well. Get that one, the pink activated. And we'll just keep doing these for now. Gold. I'm not the best with a uh, paintbrush. I'm not super steady handed, but I still really enjoy using the watercolor. And of course, the thicker you, like if you do more than one layer of this, um, the thicker the um, glitter is going to be and, it, and stuff. But like I say, um, I will be going around that black line work with either a white gel pen or white Posca once it's dry to give it a little bit different look. Now I'm get going into the one with the pink glitter. I'm just going to add this on there. I don't know if you can even see that or not. The pink I'm probably going to add. Yeah. Go back in on top. And a little bit more. Now, there you go. Maybe you can see it a little bit now. Okay. These paints, I do love these paints. The only thing is they do um, dry pretty quickly once you've activated them. So, just to drop a little more water in there. There's just so many different mediums you can use to do ice and snow and icicles and things to make them glittery and shiny and sparkly. And of course you don't have to make them that way if uh, you don't want yours glittery and sparkly. I just happen to like them that way. So there is that. I will zoom out and try to hopefully get it to where you can see all of this lovely shine and sparkle. And let's 
see here. Turn that back up. So there we have it. There are our icicles and our snow at the bottom and on the tree. All right. And we will also we will finish this um, image in a video as well. We'll do more work on this. It'll probably be a few parts to it. Um, so keep an eye out for that. And yeah, so if you like this video or videos like these, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. And leave me a comment down below if there's anything you would like to see me color on camera or anything you would like to do a buddy color with me from from um or anything else at all and if you haven't done so already please consider subscribing to the channel all right until next time have fun be safe and happy coloring and happy holidays bye guys